Hello and welcome. This is Mudassir Afras from SivalTechnologyForYou.com and in this session I will cover the topic how we can draw the bar shapes in Excel. So I have saved lot of requests that please sir make the video on this that how we can draw the bar shapes. So I am I am making this video right now but I have one request for you. Please subscribe my channel and like this video. So let's get started. First here is main bar. So if we want to insert this main bar here, this is straight bar and if you want to insert this bar here, all I need to do here for first I will draw these columns to insert proper shape and here I will make enough space to insert the bar. Okay, insert the shape. So I will select that column which I want to make the shape. So I will select this one. I will go into the insert tab. From here this is the option of shape. So I will select this one and I will take the line shape okay so i will select this one and i will drag the mouse okay with the left key and i will shift i will press the shift key so okay with shift key i will drag the mouse okay then it will be straight so now i have made this shape and after that i will go into the format cell okay from outline i will make it black okay and if you want to make it like if you want to make the weight of the line for example this one so i can select from here and if you want to give the dimension to it for that all you need to do is here go into the insert bar okay from here this is the option of text okay i will select the text box and i can write here the text for example the dimension of this bar is 2.95 cut length okay so i will write here 2.95 okay and from here i will center this one okay i will move it upward so you can see that uh, if i just drag this shape okay there is a border on these text so get rid of this uh, i will go into the format okay i will select this one from shape outline i will select no outline so now it is okay there is no border but it is dis disturbing the second column border okay here you can see that uh, here it's removed the second border of the column okay so how we can uh, get rid of this for that i will go into the format again and i will go here in shape style from this i will select this one okay for example this one tra uh, transparent so when i will select this one so now it is okay okay and i can move it upward so the length of this or cut length of this bar is 2.95 meter so for example if you want to insert the shape of stirrup what you will do i will select this one and if for example i want to insert the stirrup shape here for that i will go into the insert in shape there is one shape like this okay rectangular rounded corner okay i will select this one and i will draw this shape here okay now this shape is filled what I will do here, I will remove the fill for for that I will go into the shape fill in format in format option. Okay, I will go into the shape fill. Okay, and here I will select this option no fill. If you want to make this black, for that I will go into the outline and make it black. And if you want to give the weight, so I will select from here. Okay, so this is the stir up and one more thing I will insert here. I will go into the insert. Okay, in shape, what I will do. I will take this line shape and I will put it here okay so like stirrup okay then I will make copy of this okay I will go here I will copy this one again paste this one okay and I will put it here for example this will be look like stirrup so what I will do I will make it black for that I will go into the format and shape outline I will make it black okay and I can give the weight from here in format cell will go into the here okay so for example I want to make this line as like this okay so for that I will go into the home I will print the format and I will copy this one okay so this is the shape of stirrup so if you want to give the dimension here for that I will go here I will copy this format okay I will paste it here I will go here and i will round this one okay i will rotate this one for example i can rotate from here to here anyway you can rotate it okay 
and I will what I will do here I will just uh, select this one and I will give the dimension for example here the dimension is 0.22 okay and uh, then I will again select this one copy this one and paste it here and I will rotate this one with shift key so okay this okay I will put it here I will make enough space to it okay then again I will put here point for example point three zero okay is the dimension so here are the dimension for this stirrup now again I can move this one to little bit downward okay now again if you want to add the shape of bent upper for example you can do that as well you can add that shape as well for example if I will go into the insert I will go into the shape here right now and uh, from here I will select the line shape with shift key I will drag the mouse okay for example this here okay I will go into the format uh, in shape outline I will give it black okay then again I will insert uh, go into the insert I will go in line okay and from here what I will do just I will drag the values here okay I will drag this line from here to here we will go into the format in shape outline I will give the black color okay and now I can adjust this one as per our need okay then again I will give one more form shape I will go in line okay and from here what I can do I will do for example in this okay in angle so for that I can give the outline of black so this is now in angle this bar is now in angle okay I can adjust this one okay again you can copy this one from here and then paste paste this one here so I will move this from here to here now this is the shape of some bent up bar you can give um, this shape here as well okay so like this and uh, one more thing if you want to group this one just click this one this one this one and this one okay right click then go into the group okay and here you can group this one so now this shape is grouped and you can give the dimension as well here for this one for this one and this shape and this shape as I told you before so this is the method of inserting uh, inserting the shape in Excel so hope you understand this session I will see you in the next thank you and Allah Hafiz